Hey, everybody, and welcome to a vibrant Wild Ride with Steve-O. We've got Benny Blanco, man, and you're going to hear me say this very close to the top. My favorite guest in a long time. He's just got that vibe, man, that energy. He's laid back, and like the second we started, I was just loving him. He's uh, insanely wealthy, unbelievably successful, and uh, man, does he rub elbows with incredibly famous people all of the time. It was an honor to speak with Benny Blanco, and you're going to love it. So let's get into it. I like it. Oh, you got a shitter in here, too? Yeah, we don't mm-hmm. shit in it, though. Uh, like number one rule. Like tour, right? You know they've changed since you've been on tour, but you know you can shit mm-hmm. on tour buses. Now. Yeah, that's what the last guy said. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I but shit. the last guy that said. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was, I was just shitting my and brains out all across America like a, two weeks ago. Really? Oh my God, yeah, cause, incredible. Because even the guy Bobby who had... Uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes we uh, start off like earlier than the intro and I think we're going to keep this. So. Okay. Ladies oh, oh, and cool. gentlemen. Oh, we're on it. We're all recording. <laughs> oh, we're rolling. Hey guys, we're rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Benny Blanco. Hey guys. Yes. So you were mm-hmm. shitting all over America. Yeah, I re- I... You, you know, this is so crazy. I don't really, uh, I don't fly, really. I, like, don't fly. Dude, we hate airplanes. No, 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 no. You don't understand. I take a boat when I go to Europe. <laughs> really? Like, I take an actual boat. And, and, and you, you don't start here. You have to drive to New York. Yeah. And then once you get to New York, then you get on a boat for seven and a half days. And then after the seven and a half days, you have to drive to London. You, like, land, like, somewhere. You don't even know where the you are. Oh, your coffee's done. <laughs> you don't even know. Yeah, what fuck. What's that like being on a boat for seven and a half days? What do you do the whole time? Oh my god. What well, don't you do? Okay, okay, okay. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I do. I don't like to be. You're really on the Titanic. You're on the actual Titanic. You're on a thing called yeah. the Queen Mary too. So it's like the Titanic. You get on. For some reason, I'm not scared of those. So you get on, and I'm not scared of anything except flying. In my life, I'm not scared of heights either. I love roller coasters. <laughs> Snakes? Don't care. Nothing. I'm not scared of any. Like, I don't care if a cockroach crawls in my mouth right now. Did you just have a bad experience flying once? I or? had, like, a bad experience. It was, like, right when I started, like, to, to like, make money. And then, like, I had a shitty experience. And then I flew a few more times after, and I, like, got spooked. And then I was like, ah, oh, maybe. One of my, I was on tour with friends, and I was like, oh, shit. Why don't I just take this thing across the country. And then I did, and then, you know, you're in your head, and ooh, that was a good burp. You're in your head. When you say this thing, you mean a tour bus? Yeah, a tour bus. Yeah. A tour bus. So mm-hmm. then so then I just started doing it. At first, we actually weren't riding tour buses. We were riding, like, shitty, like, like RAV4s and stuff. No, <laughs> not even, like, an ego. And then they, like, moved up, and then it was, like, a tour bus. I was on tour one time, and I was like, why am I not taking a tour bus? So I took a tour bus, and then, like, uh, I just got in my own head about the f- But you, the, on the boat, okay, boat is, like, it's you and old people. It's just you and like thousands of old people. Like yeah. half the people will die while you, by the time you get there. <laughs> yeah. like it, it's, it's crazy. Sure. So you're talking, it's like a cruise ship. Yeah, it's like the ultimate cruise ship. Like the rich people, like they wear suits to, I couldn't even, I can't even go eat anywhere because you have to wear a suit to everything. And I refuse to wear a suit to a shitty Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I bring all my own food. On the on the boat, yeah. You know who you know who got me hip to all the good stuff was Travis Barker. Yeah, he, dude. yeah he, he doesn't he, fly. He used to. He flies now though. He flies. He started flying. Started yeah, flying. since he got together with uh, Courtney. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he yeah, said she, he started. said she made him. He but he uh, he told me all these like little tricks. I got a studio set up there. He used to do it all the time. What, how do you take food with you to the? Do you like stop off somewhere before? Do you have like a meal prep? I, get, I got all my shit ready. I like to cook. I got all my shit ready. They put it in the fridge for you. I bring, I bring weed. I like do my whole thing, and then I'm just out there. I'm like watching movies. I'm it's jerking off. Cool. I'm playing. Yeah, it's amazing. I never want to come back. <laughs> Dude, I uh, used to work on cruise ships as a circus clown, and um, there <laughs> what was what year a, is this? It was 1999. Okay. Hmm. okay. And um, they, uh, this whole like uh, circus clown on cruise ships operation was um, to be 
implemented on the new world's largest cruise ship. It was like the, the so we trained for like you know months beforehand. Then we went out to Finland where they built the world's largest cruise ship, and it had a fire on it and shit. And so they were all behind schedule and everything. But uh, we're out there in Finland on like this construction site of a cruise ship, and then it crossed the Atlantic for its uh, maiden voyage out of Miami. You did that? Yeah, so I was I was on the, the, the crossing of the Atlantic of the world's largest cruise ship, which was like precisely what the Titanic was, I think. You, you don't know? even know about this guy. How long have you known him? <laughs> yeah, I've never heard about the Finland, How long have you uh, known Miami, him? 10 years. Ten years, you don't even know. It's the first time you've ever said it on the podcast. <laughs> I, knew you, I knew you was a clown. So you're gonna get a lot of that. I pull shit out of people. That's good. <laughs> Did you know that about him? Uh, I knew a little bit about no, that. Well, I thought you just went around the Caribbean. Yeah. <laughs> nah, no, the, the ship was built in Turku, Finland, and we crossed the Atlantic, and I was able to get a bunch of hashish to, oh, yeah. to keep myself roasting. Oh, like, yeah. uh, where'd you pick up the hashish in Finland? Somewhere in Finland, yeah. yeah you can, it's very easy. The, if you want to kill anyone, like, I mean, you could do <laughs> anything on one of these. Yeah. They, you know, you can, they, they're really not looking. They're like, oh, yeah, you're good. Like, you could bring anything on these. But I mean, what are you going to do? Kill a bunch of, like, 90-year-old people? Cruise ships are gnarly, Yeah, they're, they're so big, too, huh? It, yeah, they're huge. They're and like isn't it, cities. like, international law... Like, is the no, law... No, there is no law. They, there's, like, yeah. in international waters, they have no laws, really. Hmm. Yeah, because there's, like, no jurisdiction. Yeah, like, where, where, it's like where pirate you? shit. And there's no tax, like, sales tax on the on the cruises, right? Oh, really? I think so. And, yeah. and if you... <laughs> you don't even spend you money on <laughs> <laughs> If you go off the boat, like, I mean, dude, you're, you're fucked. I remember recently like, that just happened recently. Yeah, a couple yeah. days ago, some like YouTube kid. Yeah, right? I don't yeah. even know if he's a YouTube. kid. I think it was just some regular kid that did it for a for a dare. And I then, know, and it was just so gnarly. I saw that video on TMZ. Yeah, like they threw him the life preserver, the little round yeah. like lifesaver, and like. They're like, grab the lifesaver, and it's just floating that way, yeah. and the kid's swimming the opposite way, and you just know, dude. Did you see yeah. that so kid? how did he die, though? I mean, dude, you drown. <laughs> you just drown, <laughs> like, like, in seconds? No, I probably, mean, like, you, you try, that's, it's, you're probably it's treading got, water for a little treading bit. Treading water, you're trying until you can't anymore, yeah. and said, God, that would be just terrifying. Well, it was probably mm -hmm. cold-ass water, so it's like, how long can you stay in an ice bath for before you die? I think they were in some pretty tropical location, though. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, did you see that video of that kid? <laughs> <laughs> You're just laughing about it. That's crazy. Did you see that video of that kid that was like at the high school graduation and he jumped in the water in the Bahamas and then they were like trying to like get him in a life preserver and a shark just takes him under and he dies? What? No. He just disappears underwater. I've seen a shark. You ever seen a shark? Yeah, I've seen many sharks. <laughs> it was like right where you guys were for Shark Week. Okay. And the kid just went under and he died at his high school graduation. Wow. You, you didn't see that? No. No, I didn't I'm, see that I'm, I, I'm oblivious to anything that's going on. I did see that, that thing about the kid, though, because I saw it, and I was like, well, how did he drown? And I, there was all this stuff. It's like, did he get sucked under? Did he, you know? No, I'm oblivious to everything, but it, shark, damn. I saw a shark. A shark ran into me one time. But didn't bite me. Did you bite here? They're they're not no. In in I have a place in Malibu, and there's all those the sharks that aren't scary. What are those called? Like uh, the there's, sand there's sharks. A bunch. There's nurse sharks. They're not very scary. I don't know. The How one, big was it? Whale sharks Leopard are shark. really not scary. Yeah, but, uh, but those things Malibu. are huge. Though, yeah, right? and it was they're probably, not sharks. It was probably like, <laughs> yeah. it's a leopard shark. Maybe this big. And then no, I saw a big ass one in the fucking, like Caribbean or something. I was with my mom and. They were like, shark. And then, like, I saw it and I ran back. And then I saw my mom's not there. So I'm like, fuck. So I got to like, swim back, grab my mom, and take her out. <laughs> and luckily, the shit didn't, didn't get it. I'm not scared of sharks. Are you scared of sharks? I mean, I wouldn't, like, love to be bit I by mean, a wild <laughs> I'm scared of the unknown because you can't see underneath. Oh, you're scared you. of dark water? Yeah, I mean, I'm scared of like it's pussy. in your head where, where all of a sudden you're just gonna just disappear. <laughs> Dude, I just want to say, out of the gate, Benny Blanco. Favorite guest on the podcast in ages. Yeah. Really? Yeah, dude. Who do you, got, you, who got, do you guys have on? You, you got good energy. Mike Tyson. Man. Yeah. What do you mean, Mike Tyson's the best? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said in ages. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, <laughs> I was... Now, you know, I always me and my friends always talk about this. Do you think? Okay, so they give you a hundred million dollars right yeah. now. Okay, right now, and you got to get in the ring with Tyson right now. Okay, 
A, are you doing it? And then B, does he kill you if he hit like if he hits you like a few times? Are you dead? I think if you let him uppercut you, you're dead. <laughs> like, are you dead? If he just like get like does your head just like fly off your body? Dude, yeah, I think so. Here's something that I I haven't uh, talked about on the podcast yet. A um, couple weeks ago, I was um, at the the UFC, the you know the the octagon, the fights, you know, mm -hmm. and, and um, I. Uh, I'm talking to Steve Will Do It, the Nelk Boys guy. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm like, yo, dude, like, when we get together, we make hits. Let's, what, what are we going to do? And it's got to be here because I'm getting on the road go, to go home. And we're thinking about it. And I go, dude, why don't we get choked unconscious in the middle of the octagon? And, and Steve Will Do It's like kind of not into it. He's like, oh, I, I don't know. I'm like, dude, it's nothing. It's like, whatever. You know, like, <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, it, you know, I'm like, it's kind of creepy. You know, it's kind of creepy because you can't breathe and you're being strangled, you know, and like, <laughs> but then, but then the lights just, just go out. But then you just wake up and you're like, "Whoa, that was awesome!" And uh, I really, really put pressure on him to do it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like uh, first we went over to uh, the this the number three middleweight contender in the UFC, Marvin Vittori, uh -huh. great guy. And I'm like, "Hey, Marvin, dude, like you, you want to choke us out?" And he's like, "Totally, dude, let's do it." <laughs> and, uh, and and then I went over like uh, to, to, to to you know clear it with the the powers that be, and they were like, "Yeah, yeah go for it." <laughs> <laughs> then I got Michael Bisping, former world champion, UFC Hall of Famer, and uh, he's like, "Dude, t totally down." And um, I, I was nervous before doing it because I have a, a condition with my neck called degenerative disc disease, like where like the space in between my vertebrae is like like decreasing and decreasing. Like it's, you know, my neck's just kind of messed up and I'm thinking, man, this is probably isn't that great for my neck. And, and uh, you know, before we do it, Marvin's going to choke out, Steve will do it. Bisping's going to choke me out. I'm, we're in the middle of the octagon after the fight. And, um, and I'm like, yeah, you know, maybe be easy on my neck because it's kind of messed up. And, and, and my Bisping says to Steve, how old are you? He says, 24. He goes, how old are, am, am I? I go, 48. <laughs> and, 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 right in that moment when I said I'm 48, it struck me like, I'm probably too old to be doing this, you know? Hey. And, and, and when they do it, I wake up, I don't know where I am, and I'm like, whoa. But before I even figured out where I was, I'm like, my neck is not okay. Really? I thought, I swear, dude, I was so freaked out. I honestly, like, I honestly thought that I had just done like the worst damage by doing that. Like my neck, like, and, and for a while after, I'm like, dude, I'm not okay. I just, got, I just got my neck wrecked. You were freaked out. I'm sitting there filming you, and like while you're out, your mouth's twitching and you're drooling, and I'm just like, Jesus. twitching and drooling is part for the course. That's that's mellow. <laughs> is getting choked out like similar to whippets? You, when you wake up, it's very similar to being doing a whippet. Yeah. Oh, you're okay, gonna love to talk to Eric next about this. <laughs> it's a this man, this man can do three thousand whippets in one sitting. It's insane. It's insane. It's truly insane. His mouth turns like. What, you should make the color purple in the background. It's crazy. We should have him do whippets on the podcast. Oh my god, he'll do it, dude. We went to a like a fancy dinner. We literally go to like this fancy dinner in New York. It's like. like like thousands of dollars like this meal and he comes in and i'm like because we're going to a party after and he comes in with a can a huge canister <laughs> under his thing and he's when, like all right i'm good when you say canister do you mean tank no he didn't have a tank he didn't have a tank but i do have a video like the restaurant the, Starbucks the, the, yeah because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how that's all you can buy like the crackers and stuff it's yeah, all you can buy yeah. in um in new york and that no when we went to vegas he had a man a man literally brought a briefcase up and we were like what is this and he just opened it up and it was just a full nitrous tank like, like <laughs> and we took it to the restaurant <laughs> like uh so so you like whippets honestly i i don't do i don't do whippets i i when i was like a young kid like i grew up in the middle of nowhere um and there's nothing to do so like we all did them when we were kids but i really don't do i don't really f with drugs as an adult like I, I do like mushrooms and weed but like um like I don't know. I honestly, it doesn't like. I don't love the way it feels as an adult. Like when you're a kid, it's cool. Like we did that, and we used to do the thing where you pass your friend out. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, when yeah. you're a kid, you like to like, dude. There's nothing. I grew up in the middle of fucking nowhere. You're like, oh, you're like, all right. We used to do whippets and then pass the person out when we were like <laughs> in like seventh grade. That's like where you hyperventilate, hyperventilate. And you're yeah. crouching down and yeah. you get up and do it. Yeah. Like uh, that's kind of like being choked out. 
Oh, is that what it feels like? I don't well, do any of that. It's exactly the same thing as take away the hyperventilating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and instead of your friend who's 120 pounds, you have like some guy who's like 300 pounds doing it. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I wouldn't. Dude, you know. I thought my, my vertebrae were going to be fused together. I thought I was just done. And then like, a couple, and this was for a couple days. Then a couple days later, I was like, man. Dude, I feel better than ever. Like I think that Michael, <laughs> Mike, Michael Bisping's like a, a magic chiropractor. We should send him some flowers or something. Yeah. Was that the scariest thing you ever did? I mean, moment? in in recent times, that's like the, the I was I was super bummed. <laughs> What's the scar scariest thing you ever did? I mean, I I don't know. It's all pretty subjective. <laughs> Mafia toss. Nah. I, I knew that would be fine. I just said I don't. I'm, I'm afraid of of heights and stuff. Roller like, coasters. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I don't like them, but that's not like, oh, I'm screwed forever. Bro, you, you don't know? like? I love a roller coaster. I hate mm. roller coasters. I don't like it. I you get nauseous. See. You get nauseous. Whenever you, you just close your eyes, if you start to get nauseous, I'm like such a pussy when it comes. To, I get car sick easily. Oh man, I love, I love, I love being tossed around. Like that's my favorite feeling. Like, <clears throat> I sleep for like 50 hours straight if I'm on a tour, but like I can just sleep the whole time. Wow. wow. <clears throat> I love being tossed around. Um, do, 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 do you ever <laughs> worry when, when you see Eric with the with the whippets? Do you ever worry like, man, this is maybe getting a little. No, no. Does he pass out and like? No, no, uh, no. He's fine. There, he'll tell you right on the thing. No, there. Uh, no, he's smart. Eric's like really smart. He has like, he has like, he has like, uh, like like shamans. They bring like the perfect amount of like drugs and like administer it correctly. Like he's not like he's not going crazy. Oh, and he like reads all that. Like if you're like, oh man, like you're doing too many whippets. He's like, well, actually, in 1987, and he has like every statistic. So you're like. It sounds right. <laughs> I, I, I used to do too much. Like when when I was doing whippets, and, and I I famously did a lot of yeah, whippets. Yeah. Like I my my entire purpose every time would be to hold my breath, and and pass out. You know, like just huff and huff and huff. I I would not, I would not even breathe in air. I would be like, and while I, I'd inhale the nitrous, hold it, and while I'm holding it in, I'm. Crack, crack in the next thing so I blow out the nitrous and I just inhale in more nitrous you know <laughs> like just no air how many, how many times a day were you passing out you think I mean it, I would 100 get, not 100 but on a good day like everything you say is the craziest thing <laughs> ever. every single thing is insane you know wonder you guys haven't heard any of these stories like it's like it's insane you, you just you used to just I pass out, pass a, out a hundred <laughs> times i've never passed out in my oh one time in my whole life once oh yeah one. yeah I, I i was like a kid and i had like an anxiety i don't know i was having like anxiety when i was like 18 or 19 and i just like passed out that's the only time i ever passed wow. out in my life never passed out i used to hold my breath as a kid and pass out really my mom would say that wow. I know. Weird like i get so mad I'd be like and that's, just be out are you like serious two to three years old that's crazy yeah oh what two to three years old <laughs> yeah you sleep a lot now no not what? enough yeah, yeah he doesn't you, sleep you enough freak out of his sleep like I forgot over sleep. What do you sleep? What do you? You're old. What do you? What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you I'm old too. What do you? What do you? What do you sleep at night? What are we talking? It depends. Like uh, anywhere, I, I've been trying to do six to eight hours. Oh yeah, that's great. But like on the road, it's like four. But the problem with me is like I'm waking up. Every, I'm probably waking up twenty times a night. Oh, you wake up a lot? every two hours. Why? Every hour. You got piss or something? No. I, I wake up to piss a lot. You wake up to pee? Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I pee more than anybody in the world. Really? Do you wake up a lot? No, you sleep nah, like a baby. I, I, I can like, already tell. Yeah, yeah, you sleep yeah. like a fucking... Yeah. How many yeah. hours you sleep in? Eight like, to ten? Not like seven to nine. Yeah. I. You know, I wore one of those stupid things. Like, well, I was getting fit one time. Is that... Yeah, that, looks like a, that looks like a fucking... It looks like you're in jail. Like, house or bad. That thing's What is that? It's, it's a, a whoop, whoop strap. Band, dude. A whoop we love band. What the fuck's a whoop it's band? It's the most sophisticated fitness tracking device known It's better than all the other ones. It's helping me sleep better you, you you think it's better than the, than the eye too? watch you, yeah like, for sure shoots oh God, better than yeah. Than yeah. Apple watch. yeah get a million times better wait it's than better Apple but really? dude that thing <laughs> literally <laughs> looks like it literally yeah, looks I mean, like that's, your that's, engine yeah it's you slide a charger right on so you never have to take it off so what okay 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 
So what is that thing doing? It measures like your heart rate variability. Oh, so it's it's, it, it measures sleep. your, you guys your get paid skin to, temperature. You guys, this guy, this sponsors your thing. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but, but, yeah. but I, <laughs> but I liked it so much. I bought a year subscription. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and they didn't yeah, sponsor you it. just to say. But that what's right the difference now? between yeah, the Apple Watch? Yeah. They, paid, they refunded me. <laughs> this is not the part of the, the program that we actually get paid to talk about it. <laughs> we, we love it so much. We don't even. Do we? They're probably not even on this podcast. Lo and behold, this episode is actually brought to you by Whoop, and I'm thrilled about that because I'm telling you. I'm doing a lot of things right lately. I think maybe because uh, I'm sleeping with a CPAP machine due to my sleep apnea, my sleep is like really better. Uh, it's showing in my analytics on Whoop because my recovery is great. My heart rate variability is in triple digits every day for a long time and my buddies will tell you that's amazing um just this whole thing is is awesome and i think it's time for you to try it plus if you want to try it you're going to get 10 percent off so you go to whoop.com that's w-h-o-o-p.com you use the promo code steve at checkout and Again, you get 10% off. Um, it's such a great community to be in. And how many people have we talked to who just swear by this? Um, man, Steve Aoki is going to be jealous of how much my heart rate variability has gone up. I'm telling you. Um, give it a shot. Go to whoop.com and use the promo code Steve-O. Yeah, dude. Now let's get back to it. Yo, but I wore one of those things for a full year. A whole year. And in the whole year... Only once did I sleep more than seven hours in the whole year. Is that is that is that normal? Oh, are you touring? No, <laughs> I just don't. I don't like. I sleep if I'm on like a butt. I'm always doing so much. Shit. I don't have. A, and then like by the time I go to sleep, it's like late, and I wake up. I'm like one of those people who wakes up at the fucking crack of dawn every day. Wow, that's you? him. Do you? I, mm -hmm. I, I'm up all nights. I, I woke don't up want... at five today. Yeah, I just wake up and I like. I don't drink coffee. I don't do like. I'm just like. I'm just like ready to go, like right away. I'm like, I'm like, I like wake up and I do like a front flip out of bed and I'm like, what's up? Like I'm like ready to go, just right away. Yeah, was it always like that? Yeah, my whole life, my whole family's like that. Mm. We're like, we're like just f***ing juiced. I'm like very happy. Like I wake up every day, I'm happy. I don't wake up sad ever. Like I just wake up and I'm just ready. Yeah, I'm, that's epic, man. What, what do you do on tour? Uh, Well, I wasn't. Well, I wasn't even I wasn't even on tour. Basically, I have to tour. I basically have to tour by by going to like work. So basically, I was just going. I put all my work in a row because I take a tour bus. So I put all my work in a row that I have to do. So basically, I had to go to New York, and I was like, you know, I was working on my album. I have this song like I had to finish with Ed Sheeran in New York. So I go to New York, and then I was with like just some friends out there. I took some time. I, I have a I, I'm, oh, I don't even know if I'm supposed to say it. I'm doing a book, but I have like a book. So I had to like go meet with like my book publishers and shit. Then I had to go to Atlanta to film, uh, to like also work in the studio with a bunch of people. And then I was filming with, you know, that guy Kai Sennett. He's like the biggest streamer in the world. Oh, yeah. He's like, yep. he's amazing. He's incredible. He's the funniest dude in the world. So I had to go film with him. And then I went to New Orleans to go do some work. And then my friend uh is this musician zach bryan he's like this country dude he's, he's it's crazy this guy's like became the biggest country guy in the world like overnight like it's like it's insane he did i used to see him when he was doing like a thousand kids now he does like fifty thousand people it's insane mm. and he's this country cool ass dude and then then i uh then i actually went on vacation for a few days so i like went to and I, my mom had, had never really been to Austin, so I like flew her out. She went to Austin, and then I took her to like Arizona, and then and then I had to go work in Vegas because my trip got cut short because we I, I do this show uh, with a little Dicky called Dave, mm -hmm. and um, we had to finish the season finale had Brad Pitt in it, so so we had to, he, but Brad Pitt sings a song in the in the show, so I had to like get to a studio and I was in the middle of nowhere in Arizona so I had to like get to a studio and finish all the Brad Pitt vocals so it could be ready to air in like three days so it was like that was my trip that was my trip and that was a month 
because I'm driving <laughs> everywhere. You have a driver <clears throat> full time? No, I just rent one when we when we do the when I do the trips, and then now I'm now I'm here fucking chilling and working and trying to stay still for a little while. I like I like staying still. What's the deal with your garden? It's beautiful. Oh yeah, I like garden. You have corn. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got a bunch of sh- yeah. So so. <laughs> I, yeah, I do. But you just when you first begin here, you're like, I, I'm gonna garden over here. Okay, okay. Some fucking so corn. I always, I always, I always loved garden. Like I always loved, like I'm like really into like cooking. Yeah. And you know, I always want to go to like farmers markets and like see exactly where it's coming from. And I want to put like most of the time, I like to eat really like healthy, and then like. Other than that, like I like burn a hole through my stomach. Like when I was traveling, I all I did was just drink and eat like all day. And then when I come back, I'm like, okay, I gotta be healthy. And I was like into like very into like knowing what's going into my body. And I started growing my own shit. And then I started growing weed and like uh honestly we started with weed. And, and we were like, oh, we'll grow like one or two plants. But the first year we we grew like 10 pounds. And I was like, what the f-? And then last year we grew like 30 pounds of weed. And, and, and you, got, you got it right? You, you yeah, well. yeah. I have my friend, my friend uh, Skelly owns this thing called 710 Labs. And it's like the best yeah. weed company. And he like <clears throat> helped me with the seeds. And I have like this guy named Scott who... um used to do all like the stuff for like French laundry and like per se, like he's like high level sh- He like helped me put it all together. And he's a Michelin grower. Yeah, it's crazy. He's incredible. <laughs> and we started growing and then I was like, wait, uh, you know, I do a lot of charity. Sh-. So I was like, I want to do something. So like people, people who, you know, cause you go to these food deserts in like the middle of nowhere in the middle of like East, East LA. And it's like really hard to get like high level, fresh vegetables. So I was like, I want to team up. I teamed up with this, um, this lady named Maggie with support and feed. It's Billy Eilish's mom, Phineas. And, and I'd done work with them before. So I started growing here. So every week they pick up boxes and bring it hmm. to people all over that can't have it. And I've, uh, you know, I, my goal is to just get it bigger and bigger so it can just like feed. That's cool. Like, yeah, that's street. really cool. That's crazy. Like you think about how they've just basically engineered weed to be so unbelievably powerful. It would follow that you could engineer vegetables to be unbelievably Dude, nutritious. Like no, the and and, un- and they're squash. so. You're not used to like. Do do any of you guys cook at all or not? Really? Yeah, I do. No. Okay, you cook. <laughs> you cook. Okay. Do you ever go to a farmer's market? Yeah. Okay. So you ever taste the vegetables you get at in like a grocery store versus a farmer's market? Yeah. Okay, they taste so different. Mm-hmm. Now think about when you grow yourself. Like you're, I'm watching this shit start from a seed, and then it grows into like a fucking corn husk, and then like you like take that corn husk, you like put it in a bag, put it in the microwave, and then it's like popcorn. Like you made your, and it also makes you not want to waste shit because I'm like I'm not wasting one. F- leaf of the shit. I saw this thing grow for six months. Like I'm not <laughs> wasting one. Like, and it's like cool. So you got like hydroponic, dank ass corn. No, it's really cool. Cause like, and then like everything. So all my waste becomes compost, and then we, and then it, it's all like a fucking circle of life. Over right. here, what about your, your shit? You save like, your I shit too. It. I just eat my own shit. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't save it for fertilizer. Nah, I don't save my own shit. What was that toilet that we saw where you take a shit and then it incinerates <laughs> yeah. the shit and you pour the ashes on your garden? Yeah, dude. Do you know what I was thinking about? I was in the bathroom with my friend. So me and one, of, me and Dave actually. He's like, actually, like my best friend in real life too. So like, we were in a party the other night. And like usually if one of us has to shit at the party, like we go in with each other and we just like talk bullshit, smoke weed, like while we're taking a shit. So like so I, so so he's taking a shit. Lines, yeah, dude. so he's taking a shit and I'm sitting there. He's like where you're sitting, and he's taking a shit and I'm sitting on like the like a bathtub and I was like, Oh my god, you know it'd be so amazing if like there was like we every I was like, I'm gonna build us a toilet, like a bathroom where you could take a shit and I could take a shit and we can just be sitting right across 
across from each other while we're sitting. Like it would be incredible. Just two toilets facing each other. <laughs> like it would be two dudes sitting, yeah, staring no. into each other's eyes. Dude, one time one time we were shitting. We were at like the chain smokers house or some shit. And we were like shitting. And 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 we and we're like we're sitting there and we're shitting and um and uh he, first he was taking it I was taking a shit and then he was like I got a shit too so he took like the nastiest it was like the power of dual shits like we took it's the smelliest like yeah dirty shit and then like as we're walking out I don't even want to say who like a huge like pop star happened to be like walking in with some guy she was gonna hook up yeah. with and like we were just walking out and then like and then like like as we walked out like i just heard them be like they were like oh they were like this room so i was like Fucking shit. and they were just about to fuck each other in the room and we were just, hey, just we walking. were the poopery that like gave them whatever they, yeah you it was cock blow out, yeah dude. i cock -blocked. i shit blocked them it was crazy yeah yeah I, I shit a lot. You shit a lot? I try to shit three times a day. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. In the wild. What are you, you're constipated. I already know. <laughs> you, shit like, you shit like the little poops that are like pet bird seed. Or like the ones that look like they have muscles that hurt when they come out. <laughs> it, like, it's a legitimate concern sometimes. Like, will that even flush? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, like, oh, so they're big, big ones, ones huh? Like, yeah, like big old, like. Every day? Or? Not every day. Like, like every. Two or three days. Wait, you and don't get for two or three days at a time? Sometimes I will not poop for two or three days, and then the toilet will be just straight full, <laughs> and I'm like, is that even going to flush? Wow. And sometimes it's... Sometimes Dude, if I don't I want, it every day, I like, I'm spiritually off. Yeah, I'm depressed. <laughs> I, every morning, like, like, if I don't shit, I feel like... I'm just like, I'm like, am I going to be sluggish okay? Sluggish yeah. and like it, depressed? It, sometimes I got like, it's it's not flushing and I'm like, damn. And, and I got to like, you know. Pull in. <laughs> I got to give it a little separation. How, show me what these are talking. Are they like longer than this? Well, like. It, how wide are, how wide's your ass? At, at a, He's in training. <laughs> <laughs> like, do they look like this? No. Well, it'll, it'll start out like a log. It's like the microphone. It'll start out like a log, yeah. and then after that, it's 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 just straight it's like, like like that. It's just like, not like that video, two girls, one cup. Oh yeah, <laughs> so you get one okay. log, so and, then it's just it's like, just like, and then the rest is just a big old milkshake. Yeah. What do you eat? <laughs> you eat bad. You eat good though. I mean, I, I, I I'm all over the place. With are you a I healthy? Eat. Are you a healthy guy? I, I'm a moving target. Sometimes I'm really healthy. Sometimes I'm not. But um, I'm just started a stretching regimen every morning <laughs> I, I won't let myself drink coffee until i've done my full stretch routine when you were like 18 were you like man when i'm 48 i'm gonna be having a stretching regimen every <laughs> fucking day. I, <clears throat> I never thought i would make it to 30. crazy that not only did i make it to 30 now i'm pushing 50. and when you get up to these ages man it is super important to take care of yourself and your diet is such a huge piece of that that's why i swear by ag1 this is a nutritional supplement which fills in all the gaps in my diet and it is a ritual that begins every day i do my meditation my stretching and then I drank my AG1, and then I have my coffee. And this stuff really does it all, man. It helps with gut health, cognitive ability, uh, filling in all the gaps in your diet. It's got 75 different vitamins and minerals and whole food sourced superfoods. And I mean, it's crazy. And you can have five convenient, comprehensive nutrition travel packs plus an entire year supply of immune boosting vitamin d if you go to drink ag1.com slash stevo and this is a new landing page so again it's drink ag1.com slash stevo for five free travel packs and all that vitamin D with your first purchase. Hurry up and get on over there to jump on this deal and let's get back to it. Yeah. Shocked. How old are I you? I'm 35. 35. You know, what's, you know what's crazy? 
I was like on that thing with uh, with Kai the other day, and everyone was saying their ages, and they're like, "Man, you're old." They were talking to like their friend. They were like, "Man, you're 24. You're old as." F-. And then I told them my age, and they didn't believe. They made me show my ID. They were really? like, "Now I know I'm like starting to get old." Yeah, they were like. They were like, what are you talking about? You're not 35. And I was like, yeah, I'm 35. Like, and they were like, and they were like clowning me. Like, they were like, I don't, they, one of them Boomer. said, one of the dudes was like, I've never even met anyone that's not like a parent <laughs> that's that's that old. And I was like, wait, I'm 30. I'm not even old. Like, I'm not. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's relative. How, yeah. how old do you think I am? <laughs> you old? I don't know. <laughs> you as old as him? How old, uh, how old okay. do I look? Okay, okay. You I'm the worst with age. Everyone in here. That's like is, walking up to someone and saying, Hey man, can I get you to kick me in the nuts? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Everyone in my in my head, like I'm also like I'm also the shortest person in every room. So every person I'm like, oh, I don't know. They're like, I'm the, I'm so off by height. Okay, so here's here's what I would get in my head. Like I would just be like, oh, we're all the same age. Okay. But now that I'm like th- I'm gonna like try to guess perfectly. I think you're, how old you say you were? I'm 48. Okay, and you're what? 35. You're like, we all look the same. Uh, okay, I'm gonna guess you're 42. 40. That's good though. I'm close, I'm close. Yeah, my, yeah, like, like my brother, like my brother's like 40, you got, everyone looks the fucking same. Like once you're like a certain age, it's all the same until you're like 60. Like everything's the same. Yeah, I think the gray hair throws people off for me. You look hot. You got a wife? Nope. You single? Yep. Man. You have a friend? You want to fuck me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, wait, uh, you got kids? Nope. You ever, you ever, you nope. ever, you ever kissed a girl? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have you, have you been married? Never. Oh, wow. Why? You're like, I have no STDs or anything. Dude, you're like so hot and like cool. And like, yeah. Dude. And he's a, he's a mile high legend, dude. A mile high legend. He really? got on an airplane in LA. Yeah. For in LA. London, yeah, and like just happened to be sitting next to like the hottest chick that like like you don't normally see chicks that hot on an airplane, and like she's sitting next to him in in business class where you've got like the partitions kind of deal, yeah, and the lay down seats, and then they go down and it's like a bed, and like and I just happened to be next to the smoking hottest Venezuelan chick, and, and you did it of and all they time, did it, you did how did <clears throat> take me through how it happened. I'll be the Venezuelan. <laughs> like, no, I, we, we, so what happened? And I want you to show me. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just were like talking really well. How long's the flight? I mean, L- L- LA to London. Oh, 12 hours. 12 hours is it? But I eternity. boned her within like the first hour and a half, two hours. You did? Yeah. Are you Are you guys still friends? I wish. What she was, you were terrible. She was like, no, no, no. no we, we met back <laughs> up and that was the first time. I mean, we've been working together 10 years and, yeah. and I've never seen this wiener. Really? But, but this Venezuelan chick on that airplane said it was huge. Wait, you you got a huge dick too? That's what, I mean, according to South Americans. Wait, uh, <laughs> how have you never seen, I've seen every one of my friend's dicks. Like every I know, same. you've never seen Scott's I've dick. I've never seen his dick. Do you know dick? people, you've seen my dick? do you know like my friend, some people are like, uh, think it's crazy. Like I've seen, you've seen every one of your friend's dicks, right? Like almost. I've like, never seen Vinny's dick, I don't think. Not in, even in a I picture? I saw Vinny's dick. Yeah. Probably. I sucked most of my <laughs> No, but I've seen like I've seen oh my god, like when I was a kid one of my friends pissed in my mouth like as a joke. Like, as a, dude, we we did all we used to do like crazy shit. Like just like for fun like we would you say you're like dude no, piss my, in my mouth. No, you know how my friend pissed in my mouth really? He like we were in like a squirt gun fight and he like he went to the bathroom and he pissed in the thing and he came back and he was like squirting us and I was like I was like, this one tastes weird. I was like, ah, and like I opened it and I was like, keep spraying. I'm trying to figure out what it was. And I, couldn't, and I was like, what? T-? I was like, did you put like fish in it? Like you tasted piss before? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm like, sure. So, like yeah. it, it, it tastes kind of like it tastes kind of crazy. I and, read a thing where piss was good for you, so like I went through a, a spurt where I drank my own piss. That's like, crazy. When I got no sick. wonder. Yeah, really? No one, yeah. What yeah. you got sick? What, <laughs> what type drink. of sickness? And just like the flu. <laughs> <laughs> wait, okay, wait. So I want to go back. I want to go back to okay. on the airplane. Yeah. So you're on the airplane. Mm-hmm. You had sex with this girl um, within like one hour, and and. Mile High Club. First of all, Mile High Club is so crazy. One of my friends, actually, this is a crazy story. <laughs> okay, so my friend, my friend is uh, is a friend of mine. He's a he's a musician, and is he, he famous? and he's famous. And he's on. We're like taking, we're flying back. I'm. I actually flew. 
We're flying. I was like I'm very scared, but it was a close flight. We were in Vegas, and we're flying back. And he's like, "Whoa!" He's like, "Okay." He's he's like this this girl really likes me, and he's like, "I think I could have sex on an airplane." And he's like, <clears throat> "But I'm so scared. Like I'm so scared of this. Like I've I've I, like I'm scared of STD. Like I I, I don't I, I don't want to do this." And he, he was like, ah, but maybe I do. It's such a cool thing. Like, it's so cool to be like in the Mile High Club. And he was like, uh, okay, I'm going to try it. And so he like gets, and his friend's like, yeah, you got to do it. Everyone's like egging him on in, in the back. He's like, okay, so how am I going to do it? Like, what do I do? And he was like nervous. He was like, do I like, do I, do I like prepare an area like in the back? Like, what do I do? Like, we're on like a jet. He's like, do I like, and he's like, okay. So like, guys, I'm gonna have like a signal. Like I'm gonna have like a whole thing. He's preparing this whole thing. He's like calling all his friends in the airport, like bathroom, like all his other friends who are like artists. And he's like, when you do the Mile High Club on a jet, like, what do you do? So like, finally we're on the jet. These girls are on the thing. And, and um, he's like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a signal and he's like, he tells everyone, he's like, I'm gonna go to the bath bathroom. And he had like made an area in the bathroom already with like cushions on the ground. He thought he was gonna do this whole <laughs> thing. The and he, I mean, it's like a nor it's teeny. So he so he he's like, okay, I'm gonna go to the back now. And he like sets it all up. And then he comes back and then he's like talking to the girl. And the girl was so into him. And then he's like, You wanna like should we like go to the back? And she's like, no. And he's like, wait, he's like, what do you mean? And she's like, and she's like, I'm not going to the back with you. And she's like, I just met you. And he's like, what? He's like, you're on, you're like, you can't, you're so into it. And she's like, I'm not going to the back with you. I'm not like, just like some like groupie that's gonna go. And so then like, it was, that, that was at the very beginning of the flight. So then we're sitting there for an hour and he's just like, so mad. And he's just like, yeah, it was crazy. And it's like, first of all, it, it felt like they were like in love. It felt like they were in love at the beginning. Beginning. Like I thought, like for sure this was gonna happen. So he's like planning this whole thing out. There's just, like, there's just like cushions. Every time everyone went to the bathroom, they were like, "Why is there all these cushions in the bath?" And he just like didn't do it. And then like later that night, she tried to hang out with him again, and he was just like so confused and rattled and sad from it. Very different from your cushion experience, from yeah. your sex, and, and you had sex in the seat. Okay, tell tell us everything. Well, it's so it. We ended up just shooting the shit and talking, and then like we kind of did this thing where it was uh, we just started making out, you know. And then what do you mean, did this thing where you just start making? Are you in a different seat? Did you get in no, the no, same? No, no, we were seat? in the same seat. So I, the, the, I, t I talked about this on the last podcast. So like we were, we, we took off in the air, and, and she was like, um, and I was like, oh, it's crazy. Like I'm not even feeling this flight. Like it's not that bumpy. And she's like, oh, we're not even in the air yet. And I said, yeah, we are. And he was like bet and i was like all right if i'm right you give me a kiss and so then we started making out and then Wait, you said if i'm right that's, if that's, we're in the air then then you give me a kiss and then it's like, like high school shit, like you, you know look out the window, that's cool the is air. that what you do with every date no you just <laughs> take a girl on a flight no, and you're but like, it was like hey, we're in the air give me a kiss <laughs> no, 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 no. and then it was just kind of the vibe and then we started making out and then that's so cool and then like we were, we had the blanket you know and then she just went under and started sucking my dick and i was like oh shit, like it's on and then I'm getting a blowjob, which was kind of like uncomfortable because I'm like looking up and the thing is kind of like there's people walking by and shit. And then as they turned the lights down after like the food service, like she just took her pants off and rolled over. And I Did you use a her. rubber? Yeah, I rubbed her. <laughs> do, you, do, you use, do you use protection? I mean, normally, but like I didn't have protection. I wasn't thinking I was going to fuck on a flight. So you just, <laughs> this is, yeah. Wow. But I mean, I'm not going to be the guy to turn down like the hottest chick in the world. Was she the hottest chick in the world? She was, I mean, this, shit. She, was she was really, really How do you attractive. Because I was in the seat and, like, next to He over. was supposed oh. to be in that seat. He, <laughs> you, 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 wait, it was supposed to be him? And then he's yeah. like, yo, you're my seat. Get up. And we, we switched seats. And then all of a sudden, this chick came sat down. <laughs> but you would have never had a chance. You're not, you're not good like that, right? <laughs> I, I'm guessing that I would not have. Do you have like good game? Yeah. I don't know. Were you I mean, with Lux back then? No, no, this, this no, was, no, no, no. This was uh, like the end of November 2016. Oh, what, wow. what's your, would you have been able to make it happen or no? Now, here's the thing. Um, you're, I, I'm saying, even though it's cool that your buddy that you're talking about was that, that it was on a private jet, 
I'm claiming that doesn't count because he knew the person before. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for it to Well, he be- didn't even do it, so it's like, <laughs> <laughs> he <failed> miserably. <laughs> for it to count, like, you got to meet the person on the plane. I'm so scared of flying. This is never, like, any one of my girlfriends that, like, tries to get me to, to fly on a plane, they're like, oh, I'll I'm like, that's my worst nightmare. Like, when I get on a plane, you see that thing there with the time on it? I don't miss one minute on the thing. I'm just, like, glued to the thing, staring at it. Were you always like that? No, no, I used to fly all the time. Dude, I, and I'm so anxious about flying, I can take, uh, I can take Xanax and, and, like, and like it does nothing on the flight. I can take like three of them and they do nothing. And then when I get off, I'm like unconscious because <laughs> the adrenaline wears off. Yeah, what do you think it is? Control, <clears throat> pro- like a control issue. Did, did it start yeah. happening when you started making money? No, it started happening. I had like some bad flights and then I got in my fucking head. This one guy got me on a plane. You guys know Carrie Gaynor? No. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. If you ever want to quit anything, do any of you smoke cigarettes or anything? I smoke a stupid vape. He can get you to. He has a hundred percent success rate, and he gives you your money back if he doesn't. If it if he doesn't work, and he's never had anyone. And he'll, but he meets you the first time, and he'll be like, "You can do it," or he'll be like, "Nah, you're not ready yet." Mm. What he, so he's he got you to fly? He's gotten me to fly three times. The only person since mm. like, and then I've flown a few times like like on my own. But he's like the only guy who's like really gotten me to do it and like not be scared and and when he got you to fly three times that that he he managed to get you on a private jet i flew both i've flown on a private jet and a uh commercial with him he's 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 really good he gets people to quit everything Hmm. he's crazy yeah he's amazing so okay so you had so we're getting back to the and then you had sex and so so how are you not why don't you have a wife I don't know. I think I think you now got I'm ready. Issues? He, he yeah. Gets, he gets claustrophobic. <clears throat> I get claustrophobic, but I think for me now, like, I never wanted to be in a relationship with somebody until like I traveled and did everything. Why? Because I'd always and like he resent. wanted to be set up too. He wanted yeah. he wanted like to to have a house, like to be set up so that he kind of has something to offer. Yeah, there's like, set up now. Yeah, I just bought a house, but like there would be like you know a level of shame around like bringing a girl back to a studio apartment where I'm like I don't really. Yeah, I think just as my idea of like someone like, said that to me yesterday. I don't think there's any. Someone was t- talk. We were talking about like how to take someone out on a date, and he was just like, "Oh, I can't." And I was like, "Oh, you gotta cook." Like I and he was like, "I can't cook. I have a studio apartment. I got one." I, he said, "I only have one pot." And I was like, "What do you mean? That should be like your setup. Like you go to the girl. You're like, look, I got." one pot so what do you like to eat anything we could put in one pot i'm good like you just like make it part of the thing yeah it wasn't even about that ashamed. though it was like it was that and i want to be in a place to where i can like be a provider yeah yeah now you're a provider now i'm a pro- big dicks uh, big provider daddy. they call me daddy <laughs> they call you daddy yeah. daddy daddy gray beard provider <laughs> I, I might have someone for you okay What's what his you, name? What you, <laughs> me? What, uh, what, what, what do you what do you like what are you looking for you don't know I, I when I look I I he think he likes big boobs. I like big boobs, but like I like okay. I like I like funny girls. Okay, so a funny girl with big boobs. That's yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. What, what did, was the Venezuelan girl funny? I didn't really talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's, she's, like, she's cool. <laughs> Have you ever been in touch with her in the last? No, well, we met back. We met up when 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 I were in London again, and then I reached out to her and she never responded. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Are you just like a playboy? No. You you have girlfriends ever? Sometimes. He, oh my god, it's been a nightmare. Before. Yeah, I, I like red flags, oh. but like <laughs> being in therapy, like I'm trying to like communicate more and like really work on that kind of stuff. So okay. I'm not really trying to date red flags. You sound communicative. Yeah. Sound good, yeah. We should find him somewhere. Yeah, for sure. Okay. <laughs> it's like yeah, for sure. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, has anyone it's... talked about this and on the podcast? No. Oh, really? I mean, maybe we talked about sex addiction and. Yeah. You got sex addiction? Yeah. Oh, you do? I mean, I do you? We 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 started working together. Yes, you have both what? have sex addiction. Yeah, like I got I I went to sex addict rehab. You have, you're a sex addict? In 2013, I went into um, 
what was called an IOP, intensive outpatient treatment for sex addiction. Really? Yeah. And as soon as I got out of there, I had to go back on tour. I was, I was, I was not, uh, touring comedy clubs, and every week I'd go out to some different city. And I'm like, dude, I'm a dead duck. Like, I need, I need a um, to bring like a, a guy. <laughs> I can. <laughs> I, I, I needed, so, so I reached out to Scott. Oh, because you were Jan also in it? January, yeah, so I'm like a cock blocker. Yeah, January 2014, I was like, hey, I got to go on this trip on tour. And like, it's so important to me that I not act out sexually. I got to maintain my sexual sobriety. Can you come with me on tour and help support me? So he was a professional cock blocker. So we like share a room. So it's like, you know, you're not going to have a chick come back to the room if you're it's like, I got this guy in there. Wow. So Wait, um, you. So what is it like? How how often were you having sex? I mean, the definition of sex addiction is any sexual compulsive behavior that causes shame. So it's different for everybody. Oh, so there could be a guy who never has sex, but he's a sex addict. He's a yeah, sexual yeah. anorexic, and that's a problem too. Or like you know, porn pornography, pornography. is super insidious. Mm -hmm. Like people will just be sex addicts. There are people who will spend like eight hours a day watching porn mm -hmm. were you one of those people nah, like, i've been I there mean, when i went you have, when yeah, i went maybe to a not therapist, eight, up there <laughs> when i went really? to a therapist yeah. like he was like oh, you watch porn and i said yeah and he goes for how long like eight hours a day or like as quick as you can and then you're done and i was like as quick as i can then i'm done back to work he's like i guess there's two types of people that's right and let me tell you there are two types of razors too the kind that you pay way too much money for with dumb gimmicks you don't need and then there's the razors from Harry's, which are as quality as razors can possibly come, classy, elegant, and totally affordable. Plus, with the new craft handle, it's never been more satisfying to hold a razor. And this craft handle comes with the craft starter kit, which is a $17 value, coming with the five blade razor, the travel cover for the razor, the weighted ergonomic craft handle, the foaming shave gel, $17 value, but you get it for just 10 bucks if you go to harrys.com slash stevo. I swear by these products. I've used them for years now, and I never plan on using any other products to shave my face. So to jump on this deal, one more time, you go to harrys.com slash stevo, and you're going to be glad you did. Now let's get back to it. Oh, I like to I like to stretch out my jerk off experience. Yeah. That's called edging. Yeah, oh, of course. Oh, you <laughs> edging. <laughs> I, I, I like to I want I'm doing like a I'm like my shit is like <clears throat> fucking tight. Like we're doing like I, I got like 80 windows open at once. I'm going back and forth just trying to find the best thing. I'm teasing myself for hour hour. Yeah, for hour. hour time. Yeah, I like I, I at least 30 minutes minimum. Are all these porn windows that are open the same type of porn? Or is it all different? Oh, it's 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 all across the spectrum. I got sixty TVs going at once. No, <laughs> yeah. no, I'm just kidding. I'm like a gambler. You have the, v, you have the VR headsets. Uh, uh, I got one once. I'm not into it. Like, uh, Dave used to be really into it. He loved it. He was like, he he had like a a thing, an auto blow. This thing that I sucked bought your... one because I saw it on the show. Oh man, I got like sixty of them upstairs. Yeah. If you want, I actually don't like you like it. It's not bad. It's, it, <laughs> Wait, I, so you're you're on the no, VR. Well, no, uh, no, the audio, no, there's yeah, the so I'm in, so I have the VR headset, so I'm like it's in disgusting. 3D. It's like a kitchen <laughs> supplies. It's like and it's like, <laughs> 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 like you can't like jerk off. It. Like yeah. it's crazy. It's the worst. Yeah, jerk I saw off it on Dave, and I was like, hmm, I think I want one of those. <laughs> it's it's crazy. Yeah, the owner right when we did it, the owner sent me like two hundred. I he was like, hey, I'd love you to have you. So anytime someone comes over to my house, I'm like, here, I'm like, have a water and an auto blow. Oh, take it home <laughs> like it's it's great yeah i like i don't know i like i like a long jerk you like a long or short jerk short off? jerk short. like what like like how how short as fast as i can and then back to work how fast can you do it i mean depends how long it's been but like yeah, three minutes three minutes well, you like a short one or a long one i uh have a strict no porno rule like i i i, I just can't so you jerk i off? can't mess it i'm i'm if, I, if i'm jerking off it's straight spank bank and it's you know it's, uh, it's a speed round. 
Speed round. Okay, yeah. okay, I see. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm a sprinter. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> so you guys aren't, you're not allowed to look at porn. I, yeah, I just don't do it. I, it's been years since Yeah, I, I got porn. back off of it. So I started watching it again, then I, then I haven't. Yeah. Now, I had, I had a little spell there where I determined that TikTok is not porn. Uh, okay. TikTok account. Right, and so that that would take more time because I'd be like going through TikTok looking like like cute chicks, like like acting cute, you know, and like acting cute. It's just not There's effective. some hot chicks on TikTok. It, it's just not effective. So I mean, <laughs> like what? Like that that would like really be a time yeah. The suck. thing about like say say if you watch porn, you deprive yourself of porn, and like you're like okay, I'm not gonna watch anymore. Then all of a sudden you're like. But then you notice yourself like on TikTok, like spending a lot of time on yeah, the hot. Yeah. You're like, there's like a fine line, and it's right. like constant, like moving goal. What's post. the most you jerked off in a day? Eight. <laughs> Eight. So I many. I think you said nine. Maybe nine. What about you? Ah uh, man, I remember when I was uh, in like seventh grade. I would get in the shower, and there was like a special faucet just for your feet. But <laughs> Wait, what? It, 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 there, there was a shower, and. At, but at the bottom, there was another faucet for washing off your feet. And I would crawl under that and put my wiener under the foot faucet. <laughs> yeah, and like, nice. and, and I would just, you know, just I, I hadn't even figured out that you could do it with your hand. I didn't even know. I thought I was just on to something that nobody had ever discovered. <laughs> and uh, I remember come? doing it. Yeah, but nothing would come out. Like, yeah, it was it the was... best when you could come when nothing would come out. <laughs> I wish I could go back to that. When you'd be like, Ugh! and like yeah. nothing. Would... <laughs> I, I remember calling my brother. I, I begged my brother. I was like, "Teach me how to come." Like I, <laughs> it's so crazy. I asked my brother. I was like, "How do you come?" I was like, "I just want to come so bad because I wanted stuff to come out because I was jerking off before yeah. that could happen." Right. And then my, br I remember I was at sleepaway camp and like I finally I jerked off in one drop. Came Came out like one. It was like it was like, how, like just how like, old were you when that happened? <laughs> like twelve. I was and, thirteen. Yeah, so I was wait, in seventh grade, dude. I'm, I'm twelve, and I was for sure thirteen, dude. I was hmm. twelve, and I remember you got one call a month. Like you could do one call at camp and like to call your parents. <laughs> yeah, call your parents. <laughs> or one call every two weeks. You could call your parents. I ran and I left a message on uh on my brother's cell phone. He had like a, this was like when like cell, he like had a cell phone cause he was at college at the time. And like, he was like the only guy like with the, like I, no one had cell phones back then. And I remember I left a message to tell him that I came. And that was like, that was like, I was so happy. I cried, I actually cried when the one drop came out. What's the most you've ever jerked off in one day? I'm not like a huge, uh, maybe, maybe twice, maybe two. Oh really? Two or, yeah, maybe. Uh, may I came twice this morning. Did you? <laughs> Did you? I haven't no. jerked off since we've been home from Australia. How long is that? Because well, you have a girl sucking your dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I still yeah. jerk off. I still jerk off when I'm in a relationship. I, uh, I I'm pretty good lately, but just saving it up for my lady. Yeah, you know, you know, uh, we 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 call it uh, letting the cream brew. So sometimes, <laughs> you, sometimes you gotta. You're like, oh, am I gonna waste the jerk off? Like if like your girlfriend's yeah. out of time, you're like, am I gonna waste it or just, should I just let the cream brew? So it's like, it, like yeah. I like to shoot. You a shooter yeah. or are you a oozer? Shooter. You a shooter. Or Dude, oozer? lately I've been oozing. You've been oozing. I used to be a shooter. Yeah. You did. What happened? I don't know. Getting lazy. <laughs> what about you, you, you shooting or? Oozing? I, I'm definitely a shooter. Yeah, I like I could I, I I might like I could definitely hit you from here. <laughs> like 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 hit you right in the eye. Wow, like, you, could, you could hit Vinny? No, uh, I don't think I could hit him. Okay. I could hit you. Uh, <laughs> like, I think I could I think like on like a real good day, I think I could hit that water bottle. Wow. Like, oh my God, it's got to be like like and but not like the I think like like debris could hit the water yeah, bottle. Yeah, yeah. Like shrapnel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you find like uh for your like would you say saving the cream, brewing the cream? Yeah, let the cream brew. Let the cream brew. Like, do you find that like when you let the cream brew, you're more creative when you create music? <laughs> or do, does that? I don't know. Yeah, they say like basketball players and stuff don't yeah, jerk off. Yeah, for off. sure. I'm fucking. I like like for me. I like if I'm anxious or anything, I jerk off and then I feel a hundred times better. Yeah. Like we that, got, I'm sorry. I yeah. just I just interrupted and I try not to do that. I get better yeah, as I yeah. go, but that was bad. I was just struck by the thought we've got like 
one of the most prolific music producers on <laughs> earth. We're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're like an hour in, and, yeah. and for the first time, we've talked about. We've even mentioned music. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So What's your jerk off strategy yeah. towards making good music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, jerking off and music. Is it true? That the first music you ever produced was for a porno? Yeah, that that's true. That I, is true. It was for thought, a, yeah. Okay, okay. It was uh so basically I'll tell you. It would be. Uh, yeah, no, no, <laughs> this so so um this guy who I worked with, he he uh he started Source Mag the Source magazine. It's like a huge mm -hmm. rap magazine. And his name was Jonathan is Jonathan Schechter, he's still alive. Uh and then he also had like a softcore porn series called Hip Hop Honeys. And I was like a, I was a kid and I like stopped, I stopped making, uh, like I stopped, I was a rapper at first and like I started making my own beats and I was like, oh my God, like I wanna make beats for your series. And he was like, okay, I'll give you 200 bucks if you like can make a beat. And I was like, $200. I was like, so happy. I was like, Oh my God. And I get to get the porn for free. So, so like I, uh, they, I did it. And I remember it came and I was like, so excited. And I had like all my friends over every day and we'd like watch it. And my mom found it and she's like, I, I, you can't have this thing. Like I can't have all your friends coming over just like jerking off at the house. Like we would all take turns. Like we would, I swear to God, I'd be like, okay, you go watch the scene first. And, uh, <laughs> And my mom like confiscated it from me and I was like in all these porn. It being what, a DVD or something? Yeah, there were DVDs and this was like right when DVDs were really mm -hmm. getting big. Like this was, you know, I was probably 12, 13 and it was like 99. Like this was like, oh, wow, okay. like, like this was like right when DVDs were like starting to become, like everyone had a DVD player. So how old were you when you made the porno music? Uh, probably twelve or thirteen. Like, wow. yeah, yeah. I started. I started really young. Like, I, 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 I got discovered. Like, I got offered a rec my first record deal when I was like thirteen. But like, how did you know what porn? Like, <clears throat> how did I know what porn was? No, no, no like <laughs> porn music. Like, you're no, like, it oh. wasn't really porn music. It was like this. Do you know, it was hip hop. Dog. Yeah, yeah. This, this guy. Yeah. Did, no, he decided. He it, it was actually a really smart idea. He took all like the video girls from all the famous music videos, and he was like, "Hey, if any one of you guys want to uh, like get naked and dance to like music, I don't know." He made like a softcore. They were it wasn't really porn. Like there was no dick. Like it was just girls dancing with like their tops off and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I and it was making like rap beats. Like I wasn't making like porn. It wasn't like boom, doo, 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 doo. Yeah. Like it was just like <laughs> that'd be sick. no. It's just like porn. It was. It was just like rap music. So I was like doing that, and and that's how it all started, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that'd be funny if like you were making porn. Like they're like, dude, this this porn is sick, and yeah. it's made by a thirteen year old. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. It was just like making thirteen year. Just, they're like, we get all thirteen year olds to make all our porn <laughs> music. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was, uh, yeah, it was interesting. It was like, it was, the, the, I was technically the first person to ever buy one of my beats. So it was like <laughs> porno. Yeah, that's, that's, how, that's, how, that's how it all started for me. Yeah, chucking beats. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that is crazy that we didn't even talk about any, but that usually happens. I could, I'll talk about anything except music. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, it's epic, man. Yeah. And, and, and I, I will say it again, like, uh, you're right up there with my favorite guests mm -hmm. of all time. Oh man! Just a fun, fun energy. Just your guests good must time. suck. Your guests suck, huh? <laughs> your guests suck. They can. Who's the Who's the worst? Hey, no, you can't say. I was about to say who's can't, the worst. Well, we, we, one guy that we had that we couldn't even air is, and uh, he was just so goddamn drunk. Yeah, Remember? he was. He was something. Yeah. Oh, you had some. You had someone who was too drunk to air. Yeah. yeah. It was. It was. It was upsetting. It was upsetting. Oh. It was like, bro, we can't even play this. Like, you will not want us to play this tomorrow. Yeah. Oh my it, god. It was an act of mercy to not put that one out. Oh my god. What's the craziest thing to ever happen on this pod? Dave England, taking a sh. Dave England, but that was that wasn't in this van. It was on our tour bus. He, he took a sh just shit in off the, the middle. Table. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, maybe we have Eric Andre do whippets on the next one. You ever eaten shit mm. before? Never. <laughs> um, animal, mm. shit, sure. Oh yeah, yeah. We we when we were kids, we got one of our friends. <laughs> <You> <laughs> no, we got one of our friends. <laughs> though. So we did this thing. 
where uh, you remember like it was either Domino's or Pizza Hut had those like buffalo kickers that mm. were like in, so we we took a shit and then we cut them up and then we like <laughs> put them in the thing and covered them in barbecue sauce or like hot sauce or God, something dude. and then my friend like went to grab it <laughs> and then he like put it in his mouth and he like munched down on it before he like knew it was shit and then he instantly knew it was shit <laughs> threw up everywhere and he was so mad at us yeah I bet <laughs> it was insane <laughs> And then, <laughs> and then our other friend, that same day, he he hit our other friend with a potato launcher, and like the guy, like like ruined his leg, like ruined, like if oh, you shit. get no dude, if you get hit with like a potato Terror launcher, cannon. like yeah. it's like it's like no joke, like he like yeah. couldn't walk for like a week, yeah. it's like it's, they're like it's like getting blasted with like a bazooka, yeah. I, I, I uh, had somebody introduce me to a potato launcher and we did a test fire against this like kettle and like the kettle was just and I was like wow that's too gnarly so to shoot me with it we just made like a ball of duct tape and 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 we shot me with that and just a ball of duct tape and it was like duct tape wrapped around like tissue yeah. or something and like it blasted it broke the skin of my butt cheeks it what was like a whole circle yeah they were very far was yours close i mean it, it was like from here to vinny what was oh, no, the ours was way further what was the thing that shot you in the ear what gun was that with the sh oh that was a t-shirt cannon and that was hard as <laughs> That was pretty gnarly, yeah. Yeah, yeah like it's. I had to take a bunch of uh, my dog's poo, put it in the blender, and, and uh, made it into like milkshake kind of, <laughs> and then filled it up with the t shirt cannon with it. And ruptured his eardrum. And, and like they shot me in the face with dog shit <laughs> from like pretty point blank with the t shirt cannon, boom, and uh, blasted a hole in my eardrum with dog shit. <laughs> did you have like a doctor on call? Like no. when you were like when you were younger, like is there or do you have like one doctor you've dealt with forever? <laughs> no, but I always say if I if I went to the same hospital for all my things, I'd be on their uh, Christmas card list. Yeah, it's in, <laughs> it's insane. How many times do you think you've been to the hospital, man, for an injury? I don't know what like. Well, the thing is, thirty. You won't. You only go to the hospital when it's like, fucking have to. Like he tries to not go to the hospital. I've never asked for an X-ray that didn't reveal a break. You know, like a lot of people be like, "Oh, dude, I need to get an X-ray," and they're like, "Oh, you sprained your ankle." Like that's not me. Like if I if I say like if How I many say bones if, have you broken. Uh, a bunch. If if you count teeth, it's like twenty something. If you don't count teeth, it's like a dozen. How many teeth did you break? Like ten or so. <laughs> Damn. That's good. Yeah. You, you ever broken a bone? Like two when I was a kid. You? Yeah? No. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, no. he's uh, Vin Vinny's pretty well insulated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Damn. That's yeah, dude. So so what? So what's coming up next, man? What, what are we? We're, we're promoting your your new album. No, I haven't even. It's not even coming out yet. I'm never promoting anything. What about you? <laughs> Dude, what a bro. <laughs> what a bro. You're not even trying to promote shit. You're just no, like, I'm let's not, hang I'm out. Not, I'm not even promoting. Your cooking show. Yeah, we got a cooking show. Yeah. I got all this shit. I don't, the promoting shit, I, like, I never, like, do the, it's so stupid. It's like, yeah, go check, like, go <laughs> go buy this thing. Like, it's like, I'm like I don't give a fuck. Like if you yeah if you want to check something out you can check it out if not no I like it's for me it's like it doesn't it doesn't matter how many people go like you're watching a thing and you're like oh my god I'm definitely gonna switch apps and go check this out it depends man oh, <laughs> I guess apparently a lot it, <laughs> yeah it, it, it depends like sometimes we'll uh, have something that we want to promote and sell yeah. and we'll make a video specifically for that uh, yeah. and depending on whether that video gets people engaged in the story and and it makes them you know yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like like the, the most fucking popular thing we ever did i i got together with tony hawk yeah and and we set up two ramps one ramp for him one ramp for me and the ramps were pushed up against the wall and so like <clears throat> we're doing big wall rides and i i'm i he's doing a huge wall ride over my wall ride and there's this rad photo of us both like in the middle of riding the wall. And um, we printed out photos and signed them. Both of us signed them for charity. Oh, that's cool. And that video got people engaged in that. And like how much of a fucking effort it was, you know, to like get that to happen. Yeah. By the time it happened, I'm like, here's the photo. And we're both signing them. And like, that's uh, crazy. We, we raised a half a million dollars for charity. You good at skateboarding? Eh. 
You good at skateboarding? Mm-mm. Fuck no. Nah, yeah, you suck. Yeah. I, I'm a... Uh, <laughs> Like, uh, dude, Tony Hawk's, like, a, a, a really good friend. Like, he's such a good guy, and he's, yeah. like, oh, like any time I've reached out to Tony Hawk, hey, you, you want to do this thing? He's always, and that goes for me, jackass, like, all the way back. Yeah. Like, he's just always been a bro, just down to do whatever. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and I was, like, yo, Tony, I built a ramp on onto my Tesla, and I want to fucking have it drive towards me. I'm going to jump on and skate over the Tesla while it's moving. Yeah. And I want you to drive it. And he's like, yeah, sure. So we did it. It was like the most incredible fucking thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but the car was going so slow because I suck at skateboarding. Yeah, yeah. That nobody cared. It's got Tony Hawk driving it, skating over a moving car. Nobody for a brand cared. new Tesla. Nobody gave a f- <laughs> So uh, now I'm, now I'm going to... Um, put it all back together the ramps on the car and uh and have professional skateboarders do it yeah yeah and you drive it i don't know if i if i even want to drive but yeah i probably should you probably should i probably should do you, do you play any sports yeah i play sports what basketball pickleball <clears throat> i love pickleball do you yeah i love it that's cute it's good. <laughs> yeah. it's good it's like a game where anyone can play like you can just like you, you, you instantly if you have any hand eye coordination you can play with like a professional yeah. athlete and it doesn't it doesn't even matter yeah, yeah we played pickleball a couple times dude i saw david dobrik posted a video of him playing pickleball yeah i was he just made this like crazy behind the back yeah yeah shot. i was just playing with him uh day ago wow yeah dude. he's really good where do you guys play in la uh in your backyard yeah. No, we play it like one of our friends has like three pickleball courts and we play i started playing during COVID. yeah I started, everyone started doing shit during COVID. You get you get sweaty playing pickleball? You count it as exercise? Yeah, you get, I don't know. That. Yeah, I get sweaty. I get sweaty. <laughs> you get sweaty playing pickleball? That's the craziest question. I think that might be the craziest question we had today. <laughs> it's like, you get sweaty playing pickleball? Yeah, I do. I get sweaty. I'm not like a huge sweater, though. Are you? I feel like you sweat. You could sweat. No. I mean, I sweat in the sauna. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you sweat a lot? Yeah, I sweat. Yeah, you sweat. Yeah. You sweat a big right boy. Uh, I, I got to really work out to sweat. Yeah, I'm not a big sweater. You sweating yeah. now? Yeah, I'm sweating now. It's a little oh, hot. Really? It's a little hot in here. Yeah. Is I, it? I, I got to fucking seriously work out to sweat. Yeah. I heard Warren Buffett say you should break a sweat every day. I'm like, man, he said it's a tall order. That's Is funny, Warren Buffett I, skinny or fat? He's fat as fuck. I don't know. He's like ninety nine. Uh, yeah. was, <laughs> was he ever skinny? Warren Buffett's a slob. Is it? <laughs> Wait, didn't Warren Buffett? Isn't he the guy who also has McDonald's every morning? Yeah. Yeah. He. Has, oh wow. And, and depending and, and, on and if whether the stock market's yeah. like up or down, he gets like. It's like he'll spend a dollar thirty eight if it's down. He'll spend two dollars and thirty eight if it's up. On yeah, his and breakfast. he drives like his. He drives like his same car, like he in yeah. Nebraska. You saw that that video on him, yeah, on yeah, YouTube. Yeah. yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, there's like a vi- and he's like really talking about all the fucking sh- and he's like, isn't he like one of the richest dudes in the world? Yeah, of all time, Berkshire That's Hathaway. Time. That's crazy. You know, he, he, you know a lot about McDonald's? this stuff. Kim, you know what? a lot about. <laughs> I don't even. I, it's like, bro, you're worth billions of dollars, and you eat McDonald's. Like, we get it. You, do you eat McDonald's? No, I don't eat McDonald's. I haven't eaten McDonald's yeah. since like 2004. You eat McDonald's? I, I, I no, love I going McDonald's to McDonald's well. just to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's a, that, they that, have that's the best. They like, do? No, I, they, I mean they they do, but I just think like, well, McDonald's cool. Like, I'll take a shit. <laughs> that's where you take it. a shit. You eat any fast food? I'd get loaded no. in McDonald's bathroom. <laughs> you never, I, try, I try not to. What about Raisin Cane's? You don't like that place? I've never seen it. Oh, oh my that's God, the, the best chicken. Yeah, Raisin Cane's. You should check. What? Chicken. No, I it, it, like the. I'll get like Mexican food, fast food. Oh, okay, like for like uh, I don't know. I've been eating a lot of Air One lately. Oh man, you're on the. You're really trying to get a wife I'm, now. Huh? I'm trying to get like, <laughs> yeah, salmon, look, buffalo look, cauliflower. You look good. Well, thanks, dude. I think it's the jacket. I have body dysmorphia. I'm sweating you, balls in you here. Do, you have body dysmorphia. Yeah, <laughs> yeah kinda. Damn, what do you got all is sex addict body dysmorphia? Yeah, what we got else? a lot of problems in this van. <laughs> yeah, you, wait, you don't. <laughs> no, you're just guilt free. Yeah, <laughs> I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't. I don't. What would I be? No, I don't know. No, I'm jerking don't. off to eighty screens open a day, and, and nah, that, that doesn't bother you. Ago, no, no, bro. it's just one screen. <laughs> yeah, but with the okay, is there's nothing in your life that like causes you shame? I think Benny's pretty well adjusted, man. I think he's living right. And I think you should back off. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not. I, I, I think maybe the flying thing. I want to get over that. That's like my only. Thing. Bro, who are you, dude? That's sick. You don't have anything you're like, everybody's got something. 
That's that. I think the flying thing. <laughs> That's what, great. What, <laughs> what, what else would it? What else? Would no, it? I don't know. Like any secrets that you're like, like whatever. No, I don't really have like. I'm like a very open book. Like it's everyone who knows me. It's like I say like whatever's on my mind. Like I don't. I'm not like. Yeah, hide. that's probably the secret to it. You're yeah. just getting everything out. All I'm not times. hiding anything. Like I'm. I'm never hiding anything. Like I, I say how I feel. I like yeah. Yeah, it's like if you came over, he's like, "What's up, dude? Just jerked off. What are you doing?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. I say I that's say, probably the way to live. I say whatever yeah. I feel. Like also, if like I don't like, like if someone's like not cool, I'm like, "Oh, I'm like not gonna hang out with this person anymore." Like I don't like do. I I try to like keep like good people in my life and not do, you know, bullshit. Like and like if I I'm I can definitely say no. Like be like, "Oh, I don't want to do that. This doesn't feel good to me." Like if I went to the beach. And like uh, I was with a couple chicks, and, and like I would take my shirt off, I'd be like, F "I'm fat," and oh, like no. I would have that f like in my head the whole time. No, I would never think about that. You don't even care. No, he's like, he's like, why would I want to be fat? I, I don't, <laughs> no, I don't care. No, no, I don't. Even when I was, even when I was, I was a lot heavier before. Uh, uh, and you just down, take your shirt off. You don't even think anybody's judging you. Well, I don't. I don't care. Like if you really like, just are like. If you're just confident in yourself and you're always yourself like you're gonna be it's like it's like like i always like that saying it's like be yourself because everyone else is taken so it's like i'm always gonna just be me and it's and if you're always you then people can't fuck with you on shit. And if you're you and like, I'm like a funny guy, so I'm like gonna make fun of myself or something. Like I might say something like like self-deprecating, like, and I, yeah, I wouldn't worry about, it. no one gives a shit. You think, you think. A, no, I know nobody cares, they but can like see I what do. You they can see what you look <laughs> like. You think they're like, oh right. my God, that guy probably has like an eight pack underneath. No, they they're see right. they're like, like, oh, they're like, he's a sweet guy. And a girl doesn't want you to have a better body than them. I feel like girls like dad bods lately. Yeah. What do you, are you like? What what do you? You're ashamed now? Yeah, kinda. Why you look great? Well, thank you. I think it's the jacket. What you think? Like you think you're like a? <laughs> no, he, I'm just he's, overweight. Like he, uh, he's definitely like hot as fuck underneath that jacket, and like he's wearing that jacket as a shield. Oh, are you actually? No, no, no. I don't know. No, I'm actually wearing this because we have two podcasts today, and so then I'm gonna take this off, and then I'll wear a t-shirt uh, in the next one. And what will you do? Wear the same thing? Uh, I, I brought another t-shirt, dude. I'm oh, gonna wear my Beaver Liquors t-shirt. Uh, oh, you already have <laughs> it. Why did I get the Beaver Lakers t-shirt. <laughs> you gotta go to Colorado. I should have got that. No, he's like, why didn't I wear that? It's a yeah, good question. You should have worn it for me. Wait, so, okay. So, yeah, I don't know. Would you be scared to take your shirt off? Yeah. Really? But you, bit. but you do what do you mean? it your whole life. Like, your whole life is without <laughs> yeah. your shirt on. I know. Are you, are you in your head about it when you see yourself in a movie? Uh, like. No, movies nah. always make you look so good. You look so much better on camera really? and you, oh my god because yeah, they like but, you got like makeup on they do it like the right lighting yeah. and oh you like like uh chris pontius and i just um recently made this video um 10 times that we actually could have died you know like okay. the, the the 10 times where like you know the closest we came to actually dying and um it's all with like crazy animals that can kill you yeah and we designed this skateboard where we're like skipping along arm in arm, like wearing like uh, G string bikinis, yeah, yeah. and there's a huge lion like pouncing <laughs> behind us with yeah, yeah. like ah, yeah, yeah. and uh, like t in order to um, you know to promote that, we'll sign the skateboards and yeah, sell them. Yeah, yeah. and uh, and I want to make a video where where we're actually wearing the G strings and and skating, you know, like make actual skate videos. Yeah, yeah. and I'm like pretty self-conscious about getting in a bikini right now really my body yeah a little bit but oh so this is now not when you were young right right now not but when i was you, younger you were fit as fuck when you were younger yeah 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 and i could but you look anything. the same you literally look the same yeah dude you look like you look sick he looks sick right like if, that, if you if that was you right i'd be stoked now, oh, i'd be yeah. so stoked if that was me and you're, you're, it's, all, it's all relative you're dude. like you're uncomfortable about it yeah, I mean, it's, it's like, so crazy that you would. That's like the thing. That's like the line. He's like, dude, you like your butt naked all the time. Were you ever insecure about being naked when you were when I, you were younger? I was pretty pretty easy with being naked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe now yeah. you guys are giving me confidence to go skateboard in a g string. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I mean, yeah. dude, if I had your 
body, I'd fucking Dude, burn you mine. Look great. You oh, well, thanks, man. You look great. Yeah, like, I appreciate like, it. Like, if I'm looking like you and I'm fucking, what are you, 48, 46? 48, I'm 48. Yeah, dude, you look like a fucking stud. So, well, thanks, dude. That's crazy to, to yeah. No, I don't I don't think about that shit. Hmm. Are you thinking about, you, you th you're thinking about a lot of shit like that? No, just probably that. Yeah, yours, I can't believe you're, of all that, like, he, you're insecure about that. Were you ever insecure about shit when you were younger? I mean, I think that what you're dealing with, with the three of us, like, we're all, um, like, heavily, like, messed up in the head, <laughs> like, addicts. Vinny used to live in a fucking porta potty and shoot For heroin. two years. He used to live. He had to go to prison for yeah. six months, and he went into prison with just all kinds of fucking drugs and a hypodermic needle up his ass. <laughs> That's crazy. My my, uh, <laughs> it's my family. It's really crazy. <clears throat> my family. There's a lot of addicts in my family. Yeah, we're all sober too. So like, we're all like in twelve step recovery. How and long have you guys been sober? Ten years. Five years. Fifteen years. Yeah, I think my brother's like fifteen now. Um, yeah, but there's it's crazy. There's a lot of addicts in my family, but it like miss i guess i'm addicted Skipped to you, work huh? i guess i'm addicted to work and i i get very like fixated on things but like not yeah there's a lot of like gambling addicts mm, drug right. addicts gambling's the worst yeah yeah there it's 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 hard yeah my family like has a lot of that shit and like but everyone's cool now unfortunately like uh my cousin what he I, I, we lost him to 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 drug a long time ago um what but, drug uh his was his was meth mm -hmm. uh but my 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 brother my brother did crack and heroin and but he uh but he can he's he's fucking chilling now he's like successful has just had a kid like the best in the world like mm -hmm. so, so it's like uh, most of the people in my family have had like real good turnaround stories that's why i don't do drugs because i know like if I did, I've never even tried. I've never even had coke in my life. Mm. Never done like drugs like that. No, the only drugs I've ever done is weed, mushrooms, and then I tried Molly uh, like a few times when I was a kid. That's yeah. it. <clears throat> yep. And that's the thing is that, you know, an addict, an alcoholic can get sober. Yeah. But that doesn't make the disease go away. Of course. You're all so like, like, so we're like, and we're all pretty good at being focused and oh, yeah. do the right thing. And like, we, you know, like alcoholism, addiction, it's the only disease where when you treat it, you become a better version of yourself than you were before. Of you course. know, but it comes with a price, you know, yeah. like we're all, we all have great lives and, but it comes with a price because your, your head is just this. This God just doesn't stop. Oh, dude! It doesn't. It doesn't stop. It <laughs> no. doesn't stop, and and just your own mind just terrorizing you with. Dude, my brother gained a hundred something pounds when he got clean, mm -hmm. and I did like, too. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. now my brother, he, dude, he's like down like over a hundred pounds. Yeah. Like he got addicted. Like it just takes that switch, mm -hmm. and then he got addicted to like eating right and like yeah. working out, and like yeah. it took like ten years. But then he like it just hit him, and he was like, let's. Can go. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Now you're now you're about I'm on day five of like no sugar now. And like, now you're now it's gonna be like a sick weird obsession. Yeah, probably. And you'll be like thirty pounds. Yeah. You'll you're like your goal weight's like thirty pounds. But I probably <laughs> want to be down to one eighty five and I'm at like two fifteen right now. Dude, you like look skinny. I, it's crazy. Like I don't I don't see like you being like a it's weird, yeah. but you yeah. never know when you look at people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you know? get in your head. Everyone gets in their head about stuff. Like we all get. I get in my head about certain things. Like. Like, Do you ever get in your head about your music and it's like, oh, it's not good? Or yeah, like, okay. oh my God. Every time, any time I have like a number one song, something huge, the second I find out it's number one, I'm like, fuck, I'm doomed. Like, this is my last one for sure. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm always, there's a lot of imposter syndrome, like in, yeah. in, in my creative process. Like, creatively, like, there's, that's where my sh comes in. Cause it's like, like, in the same day, I can be like, I'm the best in the, I can think I'm the best in the world and also think like I'm the worst. Because in my business, so like, I'd say 95% of what I make in a year never sees the light of day. Yeah. So like most of the shit I'm doing is pointless. Like, it's like completely pointless. I wish they were like, March 23rd. And I was like, what, March 23rd? And God was like, yeah, that's the only day you're gonna do anything that means anything <laughs> this year. Mm -hmm. And and to me, it's like, uh, 
you know, you're your own worst critic. So you're always putting down your music. Yeah. You're always like, oh, I'm not good. At, like, I work with the biggest artists in the fucking world. And if you heard, like, the type of shit, like, some of these artists say, like, ones where you're like, oh, my God, their confidence must be through the roof. They're just like, oh, man, like, I don't think this is good enough. I'm not good enough. And these are the biggest people who fill that's stadiums. Wild. Stadiums. Yeah, that's crazy. And it's like everybody has that like everybody there's some part of your life where like the confidence and like a lot of times it's in like the work and it's like yeah i'll i'll be sitting on like something so good and i'll be like ah, it's not good enough it's not and i'll fight with myself over it for so long what number one hit did you have that you thought was complete dog shit um you're like there's no way and they're like this is number one you're like really no no i'll tell i'll tell you what i'll tell you well some of those i take my name off of um and like i'm still number one yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna bash anyone but i will tell you i'll tell you a story so i was working with um you know who sia is Mm -hmm. okay so i was working with sia she's a dear friend oh yeah i actually saw you at her place one time from a from a distance yeah she's the best i've known her for fucking like literally her first pop session was with me in like 2007 or eight zero seven or something no after Mm. when she started wanting to become a songwriter and we became friends and then we wound up like living at jay-z and beyonce's house for like for like months it was crazy uh and uh so i'm working with her and these producers called stargate okay and the band stargate stargate no they're like uh they're music producers they did like okay. every hit in the yeah, fucking world he's fucking stargate. sweating back there oh, no, I'm thinking <laughs> Star Crawler. yeah uh so 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 <laughs> this was before uber and we're sit uh, everyone's sitting there and it's time to go and she call uh, see a calls a cab and she's like well i have 14 minutes so like should i just like do a little thing and then we made a song uh, it's, it's called Diamonds by Rihanna. It was like a huge number one hit. And so she does, does that whole thing, 14 minutes, under 14 minutes, records it, writes it, melodies, everything, done. And then uh, Stargate was like, I, I, we want to send this to Rihanna. And I was like, I don't know, man. Is this really the song? And they were like, yeah. And I'm like, really? And then like they send it. And I'm, and at the same time, they we had already sent it to Eminem and Kanye at the time. So it was like, I was like, why don't one of them do it? And uh, we're like going back and forth. And I'm like, ah, I really don't know. And then some, uh, this guy named Tata made like a uh, an adjustment to it. They made it sound better. And they're like, Rihanna's cutting this. And I'm like, okay, I trust you. I completely trust you. She cuts it. She sends it back. It sounds like fucking amazing. And then it comes out and it's like, a huge fucking number one. And I had no idea at the moment, but then like sitting there, like that's why you got to trust your collaborators, trust people around you. And then I'm like, holy fuck, this song, like I'm wrong. And then sometimes you think you have the biggest fucking song in the world and nobody gives a shit. You know what I mean? But like once you have no control of anything. So yeah. so it's like once it's out, you're yeah. just like doing it. My favorite Howard Stern music song is when Sia does Diamonds. <laughs> oh, like dude. her, just acapella. Dude, she's, she's fucking, incredible like it's very hard when you do like demos to have someone else sing her shit because it's so fucking good that it's you're like how are we ever gonna beat this demo because mm-hmm. she's so incredible and it's it's so cool that she can like bounce back from like being an artist to not you know her album her first album that was like really huge as a solo artist was just songs that people rejected Mm. That was all, and they and they and then they became huge number ones for her as an artist. She was like, I think all these songs are pretty good. So she put them out yeah. herself as an artist, and then they were all number ones. That's what nobody knows. Shit. You don't know anything. It's like when you made that video, you were like, Yo, I think this video is going to be the biggest thing in the world, and then it's not. But then, like, right. something you don't think is anything, it's just an afterthought, becomes right. some huge thing. And yeah. that's why you got to just like when you're creative, sometimes you got to just let go and put this shit out. Yeah. Is yeah. that a bathroom? I got to piss so bad. Yeah, yeah let, let's gotta, wrap it up, dude. Should, yeah, we, Fucking, uh, dude, Benny, I love you. I love you. <laughs> I, I, I love you. I, I have to pee so bad yeah. that, like, I really think, like... You can't get up. Yeah, it's, like, scary. You know when it's, it. like, it's like in your back? Yeah. Dude, by the way, we never go this long, man. Like, oh, uh, an hour might, and a half. We, oh, we I'm might, sorry. Oh, dude, I love it. I love oh. it, man. It's been, a, it's been an honor. Oh yeah, and then this is how we end. We're done. Is that <laughs> that's just how it ends? There's just no ending. It's just this is like the most professional podcast I've ever been on. I feel like yeah. I'm pissed my pants. Yeah. 
Are you with me? Was he our favorite guest in a long, long time? Man, what a treat. Now, there was a lot of profanity in that episode. You might have noticed that we uh, added some farting sounds. It's just because when there's super heavy swearing, um, we get dinged, man. Like we get uh, demonetized, age restricted, and it kills the viewership. And we can't kill the viewership, man. We need this podcast to go up. So... As always, thank you for watching to the end. And let's give Benny some love. Let's do our thing, man. Let's let's make the Wild Ride podcast just triumphant and glorious. Yeah, dude. Thanks, guys. I love you.